Thank you, Sujit. So let me bring the... Okay. I think you should be able to see the PowerPoint. Yes, we are able to. Arthur. Okay, so um, first of all, welcome everybody. We are going to have a very interesting panel, um, AI and wireless insertable future. Um, as part of this panel, we have four great guests. Uh, we have Babis representing the Como, Malik uh, representing Ericsson, and Professor Baskar representing QCSD, and of course me. I think it will be interesting because, as you can see, you will have different perspectives coming from different backgrounds, different companies. Um, the form is that each of us will give you a five-minute um, view on how we see this connection between AI, data, and wireless, and then we will open for the questions. So please don't be shy, submit questions to the Q&A window. So if I may start looking at um, how data, AI, machine learning are all correlated. Um, I like, similarly to stuff what Hilary was showing, I like to look at the history. And it's, it was very interesting when I started looking at building those, this history timeline, how correlated is evolution of wireless technologies together with big data and AI and machine learning. And while initially it was only focused on the voice um, and voice services and early starts of the, the internet, the interesting facts are that machine learning in 56 was already used to enhance quality of voice calls, calls which not a lot of people remember that we had a boom of machine learning and AI at the time. What was also interesting is that, as uh, was pointed before, at data were focused more on stuff counting numbers looking at data we could have at the time. I think that really you can see that when in the 90s, the machine learning and AI decided to separate and then machine learning experts decided that knowledge-based system needs to be based on the data. And I think that's what's driven the explosion. We start to see more data coming in, the wireless technology allow us to transfer more data, but also capture more data. Operators were able to capture user interactions with the data before even search engines like Google could really act and, and react. And that's opened a lot of opportunities of, can I understand those customers? Can I drive more value for, for them? And I think this is a very interesting evolution. What happened in the, later on is you can see that with the 4G, the bandwidth expanded. And that gave us also the, the ability to look at the different vast majority of the data. So looking from video and uh, voice conversations and trying to capture the human computer interactions and then not just act to make a commercial decisions, but also to make people life better. And I think with 5G, the fact that we are going to be able to interconnect those systems, that is going to drive a much evolution of the of the stuff, the, the big data understanding, but also the machine learning AI. It's not just about looking at patterns, as, as it was pointed out, can I label the right cat in, in the video? Uh, there is a lot of interesting elements of how we could make our evolution to be smarter. And I like this sort of picture because it sort of highlights that in the past we were looking at use cases and elements as a independent silos things, like how can we make a smart grid better? How we can do better transportation? Uh, can we make a city smarter, do better traffic management? And so on and so on, and especially the smart healthcare. But I like when, when with the 5G and 6G, I think the evolution that's going to happen is going to move us into the domain of interconnectivity of those systems. And I like what Singapore is always saying. It's not about the making the infrastructure smarter. It's about making the nation smarter. Can I help people understand how to get to hospital faster? Can I provide the right hospital to the, to the, to the customer? Can I understand that something is happening to the person? Can I make um, the power utilization smarter? It's not about can the building be, be, be smarter? It's more about how I can understand how the buildings, how the infrastructure is going to help us do more. So you can see there is a very strong correlation between data, AI, and, and wireless. And I think this will be very interesting to see 
a perspective from other members of the panel. So with that, I'm going to pass to Babis uh, so he can share his perspective on how the AI and wireless is interconnected.